All right, folks, we are back in the podcast booth at NGComp, and uh, I have the folks from Stack Blitz here. Uh, we have Eric Simons, Albert Pye, and Tomek. Tomek Sokowski. <laughs> Hi. Nice. I, I was like, I was like, I haven't talked to you before. So. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. And the guy that's been carrying the rocket around. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. This episode is sponsored by Sentry.io. Recently, I came across a great tool for tracking and monitoring problems in my apps. Then I asked them if they wanted to sponsor the show and allow me to share my experience with you. Sentry provides a terrific interface for keeping track of what's going on with my app. It also tracks releases so I can tell if what I deployed makes things better or worse. They give full stack traces and as much information as possible about the situation when the error occurred to help you track down the errors. Plus, one thing I love, you can customize the context provided by Sentry. So, if you're looking for specific information about the request, you can provide it. It automatically scrubs passwords and secure information, and you can customize the scrubbing as well. Finally, it has a user feedback system built in that you can use to get information from your users. Oh, and I also love that they support open source to the point where they actually open source Sentry if you want to self-host it. Use the code devchat at sentry.io to get two months free on Sentry's small plan. That's code devchat at sentry.io. So, Tomek, do you want to just introduce yourself real quick? I mean, I've talked to these guys before, but... Oh, yeah. So, um, I'm a front-end developer uh, working on the UI part of the Stack Blitz. Uh -huh. They found me just this year, so I've been with them since January. And... Mm, that's that's probably it. You live in Poland. I live in Poland. That's that's yep. true. Just flew in here. I'm still a bit jet jet lagged. So you'll get used <laughs> to it just in time to fly back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, exactly. That's my experience. Mm -hmm. I took a trip to Amsterdam for uh, an Angular conference out there. You know, they flew me out, but yeah, um, I landed just before sunrise. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and, and I, I felt like I'd been up all night and my clock's all, yeah, I got used to it just in time to get on the plane and fly home, right? <laughs> so, yeah, good deal. So, um, so Stack Blitz, uh, lots of interesting stuff going on there. Uh, yeah. Do you want to just talk a little bit about what you guys have been doing? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll start with the, the the more normal things, I guess. Um, so uh, <laughs> I love how you frame that. <laughs> We're gonna talk about the normal stuff <laughs> for a minute, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And then, then things are gonna get weird. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we we've been working really hard. You know, Tomek and uh, we actually have two other uh, gentlemen that work with us too now. Right. Um, and and uh, Bram, uh, uh, Borg Borgiev. I think I think it's like, like He's something like B-Man on, B -Man on Twitter. He goes by B-Man. <laughs> um, and uh, Dominique Elm. Uh, so these three gentlemen. Oh, have, is D Dominic's working for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yeah, these these three guys are amazing. Yeah, like at Stack Blitz in the past like four months has we've covered more ground. They have covered more ground than Albert and I did in two years. <laughs> yep. So yeah, amazingly. So, yeah. Well, no, it really is. Isn't that amazing? Like I was like, wow. Like I, you know, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, uh, but anyway, so we, we launched a whole bunch of stuff, uh, be able to sync with private GitHub, GitHub repos, um, over the air hot reloading and debugging. And we actually just announced some full stack stuff. So you can use any language and any framework. And it's uh, basically one click to go from idea to production. And wow. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It works with Google Cloud right now. And uh, it's next is going to be probably AWS and mm -hmm. like maybe Azure sometime right. down the road. But um, uh, yes, yeah, so we've been working on that stuff. So all that stuff is really cool. Uh, and this is where it gets weird is, uh, so we turned on memberships, uh, to keep the lights on around here. And I was going to ask, cause I've been a freeloader for a long time, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, and we love you all. You know, when no one's for you, know, we, we, we want we just, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're developers. We just want, we want to make sure everyone could use the product and you know. I, I get it, but you can only let me freeload for so long before you have to pay some <laughs> bills. Right. Yeah. I, th I think we're at that point now. Okay. <laughs> like last year, the first slide in our presentation was actually, uh, kind of showing the growth of stack blitz last year when we came to NG Conf, like one year ago, you know, like today uh -huh. we had 750,000 developers had used the the platform and oh, yeah. 400,000 projects. And this year uh, we went to, uh, we're at 5.3 million developers now. So 750K to 5.3 million in the past 12 months. And on projects, uh, same, similar sort of uh, mm -hmm. five axis sort of growth there. Now we're at 2.2 million projects. Um, but yes, yeah, so we had an incredible amount of growth. And so that, you know, these three gentlemen joined us. Um, and uh, so, yeah, we wanted, we wanted to be able to keep working on this full time. And so we put together this, we, we wanted to give everyone, you know, great functionality, like, you know, private repos and that sort of thing. Uh, but we wanted to go a little above and beyond, give you something right. you couldn't find anywhere else. And so we thought, you know, uh, Stackwoods is space themed and ng-conf is space themed this year. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be cool if we uh, let everyone launch something into space, like actually. 
and we're like, okay, well, what would this that is be? where we get to not normal? Yeah, this is this is where <laughs> things get a little little weird, <laughs> but this is actually happening. So we're actually we're putting a web server into space. It's launching on, into space on top of a rocket, uh, and you can deploy your code onto it from StackBlitz.com if you're you know one of our members. Um, so you have until like June first to to get your sites deployed onto it. And, nice. Yeah. So if you go to like are, deploy are people to, going to be able to browse to it in space? We're, we're trying to get a hold of like Elon because uh, we need his SpaceX internet thing in order to do that. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> so we're trying. Uh, I, I, we'll, we'll see. I'm sure he listens to this show. Yeah, no. T- yeah, I was going to say, hey, if you're listening, you know, you know where to find us. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so it's uh, at this point, we're going to have a Wi-Fi hotspot in space. Uh, we're thinking of calling it like FBI surveillance satellite or something, oh, you know, you so people, you know, anyone floating by could just tap in, you know? <laughs> yeah. Next time I'm floating by and anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool though. I, I mean, I may sign up just cause Hey, some of my code is in space. Yeah, no, right? totally, totally. That's like, I mean, that's like, we think it's kind of, it's just kind of fun, you know. Yeah. And um, we found a rocket launch company. We had the idea for this like you know nine days ago from Wednesday, and we we're like, oh, how can we even do this, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, so we we found a rocket launch company that was like, yeah, totally. This sounds cool. They made a video that we played at NG Conf. Um, if you go to this the uh, website deploy two dot space, we have it, we have this like Kickstarter sort of thing with the right. video and stuff. You can go see. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. You know, people people have uh, seemed to like it, and you know, something something goofy, but also kind of cool. You know, nice. And then you you all gave a talk here, right? Oh yeah, yep, yeah. So that was that was pretty much everything I had just said was basically kind of mm-hmm. the all of the new functionality we got. She'll show, show right. that off, and then at the end we were like, oh yeah, and you can put your stuff in space, which is pretty sweet. Yep. <laughs> so uh, you're the second person to tell me that there was a little bit of panic right before your talk. Oh, who was the other person? Uh, I think Bill. Um, oh, Bill. <laughs> he mentioned that yeah, that there was a little bit of stress. <laughs> That's funny. And and I I love I love getting these stories right because you see these talks and they kind of go off without a hitch, and you're you're going, man, those guys are great speakers. And and there's there's definitely something to that, right? But yeah, you don't see the five minutes before where they're sitting there going. I know I forgot something or, or, oh crap, oh crap, it's not working, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. We've cut it close before, you know, it's, it's definitely seems to be a recurring theme at our company. Um, <laughs> and we, we, so far we've, we've avoided death, you know, um, but uh, this was the, by far the closest. I mean, cause we had the idea to do this like nine days ago and right. it, the amount of work that just went into it was immense. Right. And so we were coding, you know, we, Wednesday was our presentation and uh, you know, we were all up at 6 a.m. coding literally until the, you know, we had to go on stage. And when I left the hotel room to go get mic'd up, we had, we had, the, when I went on stage, that was the first time everything worked. Oh, that was the first time <laughs> I went through the presentation and, and everything actually worked. And so I left the hotel room and, 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 you know, these, uh, Albert and, and Tomek, you know, were pushing some fixes and they're like, all right, we're going to push it. And, yeah, I was like, okay. I, 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 that, that was a long walk to go from our hotel room to the because I was I was ready to meet my maker. I was like, oh god. The frost was like, you nervous? I was like, yeah. And he, he went on stage. He's like, this guy is nervous. He has no reason to be nervous. I'm like, dude, I have a great reason. I have, I have like, like ten great reasons to be nervous right now. Like, this could this could be terrible. Right. <laughs> and somehow everything worked. Somehow yeah. I don't. I honestly don't know. Like no exaggeration. It was pretty crazy. So yeah. That that happened, yeah. <laughs> and was that the deploy to space part, or was that something else? It was it was the deploy to space part because um, that also integrates with our product because we have a deploy right. to space button in the uh-huh. editor, you know. And even some of our other demos, because we were like we were just pushing code, you know. There's like you know things right. that were just like not acting improperly for whatever. It was just like Murphy's law was just in full force mm-hmm. on Wednesday, and uh, it was it, yeah, it was like man, it, maybe we bit off more than we could chew this time, um, but somehow we did it. And yeah. Yeah. You revoked we Murphy's commit bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What were you saying, Albert? Oh, I was saying we might never learn our lesson. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the, the first thing Tomek said after he was like, we're never going to learn our lesson if this, this keeps happening. You know, like. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so uh, one other thing that I keep hearing about is uh, just from people around is people talking about Thinkster. And I know that Joe picked that up off of you guys. Yep. Um, uh, I'm I'm kind of curious. I, I know Joe fairly well, and we've talked a bit about Thinkster. I'm kind of curious to hear your end of things as far as like, you know, what that was like, and you know how that kind of fed into Stack Blitz and things like that. Oh, totally. Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know Albert and I were running. We started Thinkster and we were running mm-hmm. it, and that was our full time thing for a while. And, and we were building Stack Blitz uh, on the side uh, about a year and a half ago, I guess. Uh, and 
we were Stackables is actually built to solve the problems that we were having right. with Thinkster, and uh, it got once we launched it, it started blowing up, and it was really taking off. So we were just focusing our effort there, and uh, it was actually on uh, your podcast that we met Joe. I think because I think he was a panelist on, yes, on, on JavaScript Jabber and Adventures yep. in Angular. And so, so what? That's how we met Joe for the first time. Actually, uh -huh. was we were on the podcast and we had told the story. We're like, yeah, like we have this Thinkster thing. It's you know, it's there, but we just we don't have time to work on it. And right. so Joe, immediately after the pod, like literally ten seconds after the podcast, Joe messaged me on Skype and he was like, "Hey, can you talk for a second? And I was like, "Who is this guy? You know, like okay, right. sure, you know. <laughs> and um, so you know, he calls me. He's like, "Hey, the, you know, I'm like." I've, I've been thinking about starting my own site like this and like maybe it would make sense if we like work together um, i was like i mean sure i you know okay right. you know and so so he ended up flying out to san francisco we met him nicest guy you'll ever meet yep. most honest person you will ever meet in your life and um so yeah from there it, uh, it took like nine months to to really get the whole thing uh, to be a right. done deal but yeah, I mean, Joe's doing a he's doing a much better job running the company than we ever did. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's it's interesting to me because, you know, I see this in myself. I see it with other people with just the passion. Right. I mean, your passion to move to the stack blitz problem. Oh, definitely. Right. Yeah. And his passion is in helping people learn. And so, you know, you just gave him a way to go do what he really cared about. Totally. And, and that's why it's yeah. worked out very much. And, and Joe's very like pragmatic and. Um, yeah, I think, and he's, he's like the right person. I mean, he's been teaching forever, you know, like he's, yeah. he's, he has so much experience in that field. Uh, Albert and I were really newcomers, you know, like we had never really taught before and, mm -hmm. you know, we just kind of figured it out on our own. And, um, you know, Joe brings the like, you know, decades of experience, you yep. know, not just teaching wise, but like software wise. And, uh, so I think, I think all the people on Thinkster, uh, it, it was a great thing for Thinkster, like, yeah. uh, and all the people who'd learn off Thinkster. Um, cause I mean, Joe's, Joe's a gem, you know? Yep. So. But yeah, we love, we, I, we, I still talk to Joe, like we're, uh, we're uh, still like, you know, like we're like advisors to the company. Right. Um, so we talk to Joe every week and, you know, kind of sync up and uh, anything we can help with, you know, um, and, and likewise with uh, StackBlitz stuff. There's a lot of collaboration that we do with them. So nice. So one other thing that I'm curious about, because this is your second or third venture together, as far as I know. How did you guys meet? How did you guys, you know, get to the point where it's like, you know what, we're 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 gonna be business married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually grew up down the street together, and uh, throughout high school, we we took programming classes together, and that that yeah, that's how we initially met, and we we in in our programming classes, that's yeah. when we first started collaborating on code, and I guess ever since then, we just never stopped. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, yeah, it, especially back then. I mean, coding, like learning to code, is a lot more prevalent now. I think right. there's a lot of great resources that are like free. Yes, you know, back ten years ago, like when Albert and I were in high school, there was nothing. I mean, I remember from you my guys make me feel so old. <laughs> no, I, 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 you know, but I, I, know, I know it's you know, but like it, we feel old now, seeing like you know, because there's yeah, you know, there's these these kids that we meet that are like 15 and, and they're just slaughtering you know code, and yeah. it's just like wow, like and the thing is they 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 have so there's so many great free resources, and back then it was like you really had to buy books. And so I, for one of my birthdays, I just asked for, cause they're expensive. It's like 50 bucks a book, oh, yeah. you know? And it was yep. just, so I asked for like books for my birth. My parents were like, you don't want like an Xbox. I was like, no, I mean like I don't have any money and I want to learn this, you know? So, yep. um, but yeah, so Albert and I, you know, it was, uh, I don't, if, if, if it wasn't for Albert, I don't, I wouldn't have had someone to learn with. And, mm -hmm. um, that was really beneficial. Like, you know, like I think probably for yeah. both of us. Um, so yeah, and yeah, ever since we just kind of, yeah, we stuck together and, uh, kept building stuff and yeah. Yep. So, so what's your code journey been like then? Um, cause it seems like Thinkster was built in Ruby on rails. Mm. Um, you know, stack blitz, uh, I generally see you speak to the angular audiences more, I guess, than to the view or react audiences, yeah. though I not as present with them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm kind of curious, you know, how, how did you wind up, you know, getting to where you are? I think, I, I think a lot, at least for stack blitz, uh, we, Thinkster, I, I, it's this, I think the story starts with Thinkster because at Thinkster, uh, Angular was like the most traffic content on our site. Oh, okay. Um, and so when we built StackBlitz, we, a lot of uh, Angular people were following us or whatever. And mm -hmm. so the Angular community really adopted StackBlitz. And, and now there's like yeah, probably a half dozen different different editors that are out there. And like, you know, for people who are working on Docker stuff, there's like Gitpod or, you know, Vue has their own thing, React. So like it's very spread out now. And I'll, most of the people doing the front end stuff either directly use or use a variant of like our npm in browser technology stuff um and and that sort of thing like npm themselves actually are building a, their new npm client around that architecture right. um 
but yeah, it's kind of been interesting for us to watch because Angular, you know, has fully adopted us. Uh, I think largely because we were in this community, mm -hmm. and then other people seem to get the idea like, oh, this is cool. I'll make one like that's really great for Vue or React or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it. I think it's largely just because we were, you know, we've been a part of this community for oh gosh, what five years, six years, or something. Yeah. Yeah, 2013 is when we started Thinkster, so yeah. Nice. This episode is brought to you by TripleByte. Applying to programming jobs sucks. You have to put the right keywords in your resume, you spend hours and hours on the phone screens and take home projects, and that's assuming the company even responds to your application. Well, if you're a software engineer, TripleByte can help. They work with over 400 top tech companies from big names like Dropbox and Adobe to exciting startups. You do one brief online interview with them, and if you do well, you go straight to final interviews with the company on their platform. It's like the common app for software developers. TripleByte does not look at your resume or where you went to school. All they care about is if you can code. I've helped dozens of software developers with various credentials get jobs. And this looks like a terrific way for you to get in and get interviewed and get a job without a lot of the hassle and overhead. You can go check them out at triplebyte.com slash a story. That's triplebyte.com, byte as in eight bits. As a special offer for listeners of this show, if you take a job through Triple Byte, they'll offer you a one thousand dollars signing bonus. So, uh, um, Stack Blitz works for React and Vue and some of these others, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I'd love to see you know see you get a little bit more into those communities as well. And yeah, it's it's you know, and this is um, yeah, it's interesting to watch from the outside because the communities are very uh, siloed. That it's, yes, it's they very, are. It's it's fascinating because we you know we have uh, I, yeah, I think we have you know it's in certain areas objectively you know the best developer experience like our over the air hot reloading and debugging is like one of the most useful features i think mm -hmm. i've ever used in a developer product um but uh you know these like all these other communities once they latch on to something it's like they they don't really look they don't look anywhere else you know unless that thing just straight up dies or something you know yeah um which has been interesting mm -hmm. to watch because you you see this with other tools too like jasmine yep. or jester you know you yep. see these different choices from just different types of communities you know so yeah it's funny um you know having been on a javascript podcast an angular podcast a view podcast and a react podcast all at the same time i was a host on all of those shows right <laughs> ongoing so you know this firsthand yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because um you know yeah we do picks at the end of the shows and somebody will pick something that i've known about for years from one of the communities yep. and they're like this thing is awesome i don't know how long it's been around i think it's brand new <laughs> right and i'm like i'm like so if you go back about three years there's a you know <laughs> there's an adventures in angular podcast episode about it oh really <laughs> so, so yeah awesome. it's it's it really is true you know in some yeah. ways you know some things kind of get spread across all the communities you know webpack is an example of that right yeah. yep. kind of got universally accepted um and then in other cases yeah it's like it's like i found this awesome thing and i'm like i feel dumb for not having brought it up yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, no totally yeah totally so what's the best part of the conference for you guys? Ooh, good question. Meeting people and talking to Definitely. like people that use our product and hearing like how they use it, why they use it, mm -hmm. and like why they like it. I'm curious to hear what Tomek has. This is his first yeah. NGConf, so... Oh yeah, uh, so yeah, definitely talking to people and hearing the whole like stories. And I'm also, I have the training back background. I've been training for past four years, done like hundreds literally 100 trainings and like every every second people just comes to us and and tell us that i'm using it on my training to us just don't mess around with the with the setup with everything we just start with stack blitz yeah so that's awesome that's actually also the first project that i'm working on that i really like love like <laughs> no no exaggeration so and to see the people that also love both angular and stack blitz that's yeah that gives me like uh, feels my battery like 200 <laughs> percent totally agree yeah. yeah it's interesting i had the guys in here from um angular in depth oh, and nice. they, they have a motivation channel in their slack that's private to them and it's oh we had one of our authors on adventures in angular oh we had one of our authors was featured in ng newsletter you know and, yep. and that yep. kind of thing and yeah you, what you're talking about is the same thing right it's you know it's these people coming up and um either verbally or physically giving you a hug and being like, you know, this Precisely. is really helpful, right? It, it yeah. makes a big difference. And then the other thing is, is yeah, you know, to Albert's point, you have people come up and say, this is how I'm using it. 
well, that's how you make it better. Oh, I hadn't thought about that use case. You know, we could probably do this and this and it, yeah, it'd make it a better experience for these yep. folks. Yep. But for me, it's, it's nice because I've sent people, they're like, well, you know, I want to learn, you know, Angular or Vue or something. And they're like, and, and the setup is just horrendous, you know, because you have to install Node and then you have to install NPM. Yep. You've got to update all of it. And then, you know, I'm like, well, just go try stack blitz, right? Because <laughs> you don't have to do the setup. You could just get in and learn to code. Yeah. And then yep. when you really in earnest want to run it on your machine, then you can go through the pain of totally. figuring out the command line stuff. Yep. No, 100%. 100%. And then, yeah, what's also really cool, too, is like even with, with the new stuff we're rolling out, um, it, the full stack stuff is called production ready. Um, and so with production ready, it it takes that same experience where you like you instead of having to install it locally or whatever, just to get your CLI running. Mm -hmm. It now also does that with like your cloud infrastructure. Wow. So it's like like one click, it scaffolds your app, sets mm -hmm. up your CLI tooling, but then also like sets up your, you know, Google Cloud, you know, Docker images running live on a server, does that initial deploy, pushes oh, it nice. to a GitHub repo. So like one click, like turnkey you have a real app that's like got to get a repo set up already with your workflows in it mm -hmm. already live on production with your hello world or whatever and like and then nice. you can just start typing and hit deploy whenever you want commit it to github so um so we're trying to extend that like that experience to like your entire production workflow now um so yeah it's which it's i hate i hate that process it's such a hairy process of getting like a production app set up you know so it, I, i'm like Tell i want to be the first user of this thing i'm like ah this is amazing you know <laughs> yeah i've been working on a, a service for podcasters to help them manage their podcast content and what's really funny is is that yeah i was doing like manual deploys i mean you I, I, I'm guessing you were doing something like this with Thinkster, you know, so I had Capistrano set up and, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. yep. and then yep. it's doing all the pushing and stuff. And, and what's funny is, is that, um, yeah, I found a, a Cloud 66, right? And uh, I was like, so they're like, yeah, the easy deploys. And I'm like, no, no way, right? <laughs> and so I go in and I'm like, hey, deploy my app. And it's like, oh, this is a Rails app. I know what to do with this. And whoop, wow. up it goes. And I'm like, I'm never doing that other thing again, <laughs> right? And That's so, yeah, awesome. I, I get it, right? It's it's yeah. it, it's hard, and it's like I just want to write my freaking code, and so yeah, I love that. Um, one other thing that I've I've been trying to capture with people for um, for the audiences basically is like who are the people that we're hearing about, right? Because you know we see uh, Albert on stage, right? We see Eric on stage, we see Tomek at the conference, and it's like, or you know, or you know, other events, right? You know, you're walking around and it's like, I, I get this glimpse of you at the conference, but I don't actually like see you day to day, right? I don't see you walk into Walmart or Vans or wherever, right? And, and you know, and pick out, you know, whatever broccoli you're going to eat and whatever, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I, I'm a little bit curious, like when you're not doing the coding, when you're not at the conference, when you're not stack blitzing, what are you doing? That's a good question. Uh, what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, oh boy, this year has been mostly coding, actually. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. we, we've, been, we've had some crazy... Ordering crazy, food to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. kind of days. Yeah, I, a lot of I've that. done a lot of that lately, too, just <laughs> launching stuff, but yeah. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think beyond that, I think we're trying to actually, like, get a more uh, sane work-life balance, like, you know, going out and just, I don't know, going on hikes or reading books or, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, that sort of thing, I feel like. Um, I, I know Tomek's really big into movies and TV shows. Like he's, well, yeah, um, I'm, I'm also trying to raise up, like, two junior developers. So I oh, have nice. two kids on my own. So <laughs> oh, yeah. It takes a lot of, like, <laughs> basically the rest of my time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I hear that. I have four kids up at NG Kids, and then my fifth is too young to go, so she's in the daycare. <laughs> oh, gotcha. But, yeah, yeah, it's the same thing, right? It's Yeah, that that's a lot of work. Yeah. Wow. I was like, yeah, you, you want a lot of work? Try and have a career and kids. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. that's. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We're gonna hold off on kids for just a little bit. <laughs> like, I'm having enough trouble as is right now. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Albert? What What do you spend your time doing if you're not stack blitzing? Uh, yeah. I mean, for for me, this year has been mostly stack blitz, but um, right. yeah, mainly getting into ebooks and like listening to like Audible. Like that, that's been my mm -hmm. biggest thing lately. So, so what's your poison then? Is it fantasy books, science fiction books? For, for me, it's like nonfiction and like, um, uh, memoirs, like those, those sort of things. Like what? Memoirs. 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 Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was hearing something else and I was like, <laughs> I don't know what he said. Something <laughs> Mars. <laughs> yeah. That, that's interesting too. And yeah, I love the historical stuff and yeah. yeah. 
what was it like in the life of some other person? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just, just being, yeah. Cause like books is like being able to like be in someone else's shoes at a different point in right. time. So that's, that's always fun to me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's kind of part exploration and part story and part. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I identify with a lot of that. I mean, I, I, I go back and forth between like fiction and um, science fiction. And then I also pick up, yeah, some historical stuff. So, um, you know, somebody will go and do a whole bunch of research on what happened. You know, I really love like the American Revolution period. And yeah. so, yeah, so I'll go somebody will do a whole bunch of research and then they'll turn it into a narrative. They'll tell the story, yeah. you know, and they'll fill in some of the holes, you yeah. know, with it was probably something like this when they had to, you know, get food or you know do these other things and yeah th that's terrific that's really yeah. cool yeah yeah cool so we're all nerds great yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. agreed <laughs> awesome so what's coming next for stack blitz um i know you made a bunch of big announcements you're probably yeah. taking a breath and then <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. yeah it's, i think i think i think most of the things that we're working on are well, i think we've announced at this point uh, we got we're launching this thing into space this web server uh the full stack stuff is going to be pretty big. I think there's a I think there's a lot. Of, that's like a kind of Pandora's box of of the future because like, that's really our mm -hmm. next generation tool chain. So like that, it's we're going to be working on that for years. Like there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming down the pipe on that. Nice. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess the other question I have is yeah. So I've been waiting to see the monetization model on this. You, you said you launched membership. So what does the membership get you then? Yeah. So we have we have two plans um, as of right now. So the uh, the first one it's like everything on Stack with the space theme now. So the astronaut plan. Oh is, really? Yeah. <laughs> was that planned with the with the conference? No, no? It, it wasn't. And so and that's that's why we had the idea nine days before NG conference. We're like, oh my god, we're space themed. They're space themed. We gotta we gotta do some we gotta do something cool that's space themed. You know, yeah. launch this rocket or whatever. But um, yeah, so we, but our plans are, are you know space themed. Just like this, the homepage of our site has you know like a lunar landscape thing on it. Um, but so the astronaut plan is nine bucks. So it's like the price of a Chipotle mm -hmm. burrito. It's like you know very affordable. Uh, it comes with like private projects. You can sync with private GitHub repos, uh, over the air hot reloading and debugging. Um, Let's see. What are the other things? The that, production uh, ready. Project? Oh right, yeah. You get like twenty full stack apps once that stuff is out of beta. Um, there's, there's a handful of other cool things mm -hmm. come with that. And then there's another plan we have called the Commander Plan, and th if that's for people who like really, 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 really love us. Uh, that comes with all the stuff the Astronet Plan has, but it also gives you unlimited full stack apps. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll out of the blue, we'll send gifts to your door just randomly. You know, oh, like really? t-shirts, stickers, yeah, that's just, awesome. just you know, stuff like that. It's like fun. Um, we also like loop you into all of our engineering designs. You can have a direct Direct impact on like the platform and um, that sort of thing, and uh, so that's like thirty nine bucks a month. Um, yeah, so that's and so you can get a, a whole bunch of oh right yeah we have team plans too for both of those. So you can like sign up your entire team and uh, or if you have like your if you want your dog to have an account you can sign them up you know in the same go you know whatever nice. Right? <laughs> I, I might have to steal that because I've been looking at your things. I'm sponsoring a podcasting conference because I'm building this service, right? And I, I may have to go for that because I really like the idea here. Yeah. You know, so it's like <laughs> <laughs> ground control. and yeah, yeah. No, It's cool. Yeah. It's, yeah. you know, uh, Dominique was the one, you, he was redesigning our homepage. He's like, I want to go with the space theme. And we're like, yeah, go for it. If it looks good, sure. And it looked amazing. And so now all of our stuff is just space. We've, we're like playing off the, you know, the oh, theme yeah. for everything on the side. Yeah, it, it really added some personality to the product. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely. Well, well, and I know where to get a, a space commander <laughs> uniform now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, for the, for the folks at home, they're they're wearing astronaut uniforms. Yeah, we're all yeah in unison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all, all of their uniforms say commanders, so uh, maybe they don't know who the boss is. <laughs> <laughs> We're all the boss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, to some degree, you know, with five people, you can kind of do that if everyone's on board. But yep. yeah. yeah, I'm sure somebody's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty collaborative. I think. I think. Yeah. I think we all are. We're, everyone's very. Uh, yeah, everyone's very good about just kind of like having a discussion and agreeing on. Yeah. Like, okay, this is this seems like a good idea. We should do this. You know. Well, so. and if you have a set, if you have a set vision for things and you kind of know what well, you know what values you, you really want to yeah. hold on to as a company then as long as everybody's bought in it's it's generally pretty easy to just kind of stay the course and and work that way so that's that what we found too yeah, yeah it's like if ever you know and I, I think all you know tomek uh, dom and bram have uh they all you know they they found like the, we sent out a tweet to you know just on the stack with twitter and said hey if anyone out there would like to help out you know hit us up and they did and so they, they're they from the Angular community. They use Stacklets themselves. And so I think at a yeah. lot of companies, when you hire someone, they might not even have necessarily ever used the product before. Right. And so with Stacklets, like they, day one, everyone kind of understood, you know, what we were about.
out. Yeah. And that's, uh, it's been, yeah, it, like you said, it's just been a very smooth experience. Like everyone is, uh, you know, really gets the mission, you know, and has added a, a lot more to it than I, you know, I could have ever imagined, honestly. So it's been really nice. Very cool. Um, anything else that you feel like people need to know about you or about stack blitz? Um, no, it's because support us, go to deploy two dot space, sign up for a membership. Um, and we love you all. You know, we, uh, we really appreciate all the, the yeah, people have told all of their friends and family uh-huh. apparently, cause we've just grown like a weed this past year. So we really, oh, yeah. we really appreciate it. You know, that everyone has been really awesome. Well, I may go sign up just to send you guys some money because I've been freeloading for so pretty <laughs> long. Hey, we'd appreciate yeah. it. You know, anything, yeah. anything, anything you can give. <laughs> no, I, I've done that with a few other memberships too. It's like, look, I believe in what you're doing. I don't have the time to take advantage of all the extra stuff you're offering, but yeah. Yep. yeah. So awesome. Absolutely. So so deploy two dot space. Deploy two dot space and stackblitz.com. So there's okay. two domains that, that people should check out for sure. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for uh, dropping in. and Yeah, thank you. Thanks yeah, for having us. Appreciate it. it. Yeah, yeah we'll see you at the next one. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Bandwidth for this segment is provided by Cashfly, the world's fastest CDN. Deliver your content fast with Cashfly. Visit C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y.com to learn more.